We learned about sensors in our last video, but I was stuck here on this field wire. Now, if you recall from this one here, I never could make this trainer work because the wiring was so intensive. Let's see what we could have done better. I'm Jeremy Andrews. I'm the product marketing manager for field connectivity at Phoenix Contact. Jeremy, you saw the picture of my failed trainer. Obviously, there were 80 terminal blocks on it. Every sensor had a power wire. Every sensor had a common wire. And it was just too labor intensive for us actually to ever turn it into a trainer. What do you recommend to reduce our labor on wiring something like this? There's a lot of brown, black, blue coming in and you've already got the M12s. So one of the things we could talk about is molded M12 cable can make it plug and play by collecting all of those signals. So to your point about the power wiring, the way mm -hmm. the PCB inside this box is wired, you've got common power to all your slots. Now common power, which pins is that? So that would be pins one, three, and five. So you got your ground in there as well. Okay. So that's common throughout all of the slots, so whatever master cable you have going back to your cabinet, you're looking at three conductors to distribute all of that power to the box. Two and four are wiring to these terminal blocks? Yeah, and we've actually got single occupied and double occupied boxes. So if it's a double occupied, you could use two and four and bring two signals back per M12 slot on the box. What's a double occupied? So you could have two sensors coming into one M12 connector. Okay, so this right here has eight spots, so we could get 16? 16. 16 signals going back to your cabinet. Why doesn't this one have threads? So this is actually the M12 push-pull. With the M12 push-pull, it's just push on, and that's your quick connection to the box. It's secure, and then to release, you just pull back on that coupling nut there. And it's an IEC standard, so it's going to be cross-manufacturer compatible. Oh, wait a second. This also can handle a threaded one? Yeah, so the, the ports in the box are actually dual ports, so they can handle your threaded M12 or just the push-pull. So you've um, taken care of our plus wire and a minus wire and a ground on this, but still a lot of wiring here. What if I don't want to take all these wires back to my panel? Do you have any networking options? So yeah, we've actually got our Axio line boxes. So these are our, our smart network boxes. So when you're looking at that, you're still collecting those M12 signals and you can send them back just through simple ethernet cable back to the cabinet. What protocols do you support? Ethernet IP, Profibus, Profinet, Modbus, and IO Link. How do you recommend getting this cable through the panel? Should I just blow a hole in the side of the panel and stick it through? <laughs> probably not. We've probably got better options for that. Maybe we should go talk to Dean about that. Click here to follow us over there.